male, and of all the unclean birds, one pair, a male and a female. Thus you will keep their issue alive over all the earth. Seven days from now I will bring rain down on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and so I will wipe out from the surface of the earth every moving creature that I have made. Noah did just as the Lord had commanded him. As soon as the seven days were over, the waters of the flood came down upon the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The, the Lord, Lord will bless, bless his, his people, people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord, the Lord will bless, bless his people, people with peace. peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord, the Lord will bless, bless his, his people, people with peace. peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord, the Lord bless will bless his people, his people with, with his peace. peace. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever allows me will keep my word, says the Lord. And my father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread. And they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them. Watch out. Guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five laws for the five thousand? How many wicker baskets full of fragments you picked up? The ant said to him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? The ant said to him, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, we are entering 
into a new season. The beautiful season of Lent. And Lent calls for prayer, fasting, and works penance, and works of charity. Now why do we do these things? The liturgy of today reminds us about its importance. The gospel passage, Jesus warns his disciples against the leaven of the Pharisees and uh, Herod. Now what does Jesus mean by that? The scribes and the Pharisees were supposed to be you know, the keepers of the law and traditions. And they interpret many laws and traditions in order to have control over people. And Herod, the ruler, he uses his army, his power, in order to control others. Jesus reminding them, do not be depend on any of these things. Because they are not permanent. We'll listen to the first reading of today. In the book of Genesis, after each day's creation, God said it was good. But sin entered the world and there came the chaos. And the flood comes and destroys all that. So he reminds his disciples, only one thing is permanent. That is the one true God. Everything else changes. And those who rely on him, those who place their trust in him, like Noah, will be saved. Time and again, Jesus invites his disciples to place their trust in him and him alone. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, the liturgy of today reminds us this world, the things, all passes away. While we live our lives, put our trust in the one true God, that will enable us to live a life in its fullest. Please rise. Let's place our praise and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings for Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the leaders of the church. We pray to the Lord. People, those who hold leadership in the world, that they may work tirelessly to establish justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Christians all over the world, as we are fast approaching this beautiful season, may be reminded of our life and the purpose of our life. We pray to the Lord. For our families and friends and all those who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. 
for the sick and suffering, especially members of our parish family, we pray to the Lord. Remember and pray for all the people, those who are facing a lot of inconvenience due to this weather. We pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Leora Scroll, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our praise and petitions before you. The liturgy of today invites each one of us to place our trust and confidence in the one true God and walk in his ways. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the being living this wine and water, we may come to share. The divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, be pleased with the sacrifice. We offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. Precious and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord of God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and every way to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For by his birth. He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, canceled out our sins. And by rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by presenting to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. As without end, we acclaim.
holy, holy, holy Lord. Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving things, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy and all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and uh, ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always.
Lamb of God, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, while of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. Free me by your whole most holy body and blood from every evil and keep me always faith your commandments and never let me part from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ. Uh, 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who participate later through YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day.